daily driver's down. Um, she's got a bit of a fuel knock, limp mode kind of deal going on. I'll start her up and just show you. She's got P0 or P0201 code for uh, injector one control circuit. And now it's fine. I parked it an hour. Let it sit overnight. It was knocking like a bitch. Parked it for 20 fucking minutes. Now it's fine. She might start knocking here in a minute. Nothing. So, that's kind of odd because I could barely make it up the fucking driveway when I brought it in here. But anyway, I'm going to change this pigtail. I bought this, I got this on Amazon actually, but it's GM legit part. Comes with a big long lead on it. Um, the thing that sucks is the number one is way down in here in behind the, the fuel injection control module. So I gotta pull the air box out, get it out of the way just to even get in there. Cause I can't even, you can't even see it from here, but I wiggled the plug around while it was running before I shut it off. Cause I just shut it off to let it cool down for a few minutes. And um, it was just knocking like crazy, but now you let it sit for 20 minutes and it's fine. I found another rub through wire on this harness and I was just kind of testing it before I, uh, like I, I put some tape around it just to clean it up. I don't have any, like I'd have to find an end of it to heat shrink it or something, but I put this piece of a heater hose here to uh, keep it from rubbing anymore into this bracket off of the alternator. So I'm gonna get this pulled off and have a look at the pigtail. So I got the air intake pulled off, it's a little easier to get at, but the the pigtail that I, is giving me grief is this little guy right here. How about that little fella? How about that little guy? I wouldn't worry about that little guy. So the ice pick trick, um, the way I was kind of described it, let's see if it'll focus on this thing. You take a little pick like this guy right here, and um, on this pigtail itself, fucking focus. Too damn shaky for this shit. Yeah, these four little holes right here. If you just take your little pick and um, push in, it'll actually pry the pry the prongs down and grab a little tighter on the uh, on the male end connector that actually is on the injector itself. And that it bought me about a week while I waited on the, these to come in. I bought two of them so that I would have a spare in case I have any problems because generally you have problems with number two, which is your for forward most driver's side cylinder closest to the front and it's pretty easy to get out. The pigtail's just right down in there. But then the other one that usually goes is number seven, which is right on the very back of the passenger side in behind the EGR, or the EGR cooler and the fuel filter and whatnot. So those are the most common ones. So I bought two of these to have a spare in case it happens again. And you buy the kit and it comes with the two uh, heat shrink butt connectors to do it as well. So I pulled this intercooler uh, pipe just slightly out of the way. The This is the pipe going into the actual EGR. Pulled it slightly out of the way just to get some, uh, get some more room to get in there. So on this one, it is orange is on the, if you're looking at the top side of the connector, orange on the right, red on the left. And these are both white on the replacement pigtail. So I'm gonna mark the the right one with a Sharpie just so that I, if I get it twisted around or something, I just know which one is the, I'm just gonna say a black tick with a Sharpie is orange, just to to um, keep things, keep them from getting backwards and it helps to, if you videotape yourself doing this as well and and each step of the process and then you won't mix it up because you'd be real pissed off if you did all this and then you did the wires backwards and then have to take it all apart again just to undo the butt connector and redo the wires. So if you guys need to get any of these, I believe it'd be the same part number on an LBZ, probably an LMM as well. I'm not sure about the newer ones, but the part number is 889. 88963. Um, they're pretty easy to come by from what I understand. I'm pretty sure there's other aftermarket companies that make this same pigtail. Um, but the, the one I got is a GM one. So 
Um, I believe there's also there was a service bulletin at one point about this, so it's it's a fairly common issue. So there's the pigtail connected in. It, the kit provides a couple of these heat shrink butt connectors. I haven't actually put the heat to them yet, but um, I left it about maybe four inches long to give me a little bit of room to wrap it back into place. This one's a real pain. It's really hard to get the wire stripper in just to even get at those wires. Um, I think probably all of the passenger side bank, except probably number seven back there, are a pain. Because the other ones are right behind the fuel filter. Um, generally number seven and number two, which is... Number two is right here behind this battery, po this battery terminal post. It is... I think that's it right there. So that's, they're pretty easy to get at. Uh, it almost looks like this one's been done before, the number two, but it's hard to tell. I would, I would not be surprised. Anyway, that's this one in, and then I'm keeping one spare in case number two or number seven goes. And then in that case, I'll buy one more to keep another spare to have in case another one goes. But anyway, I'm going to get her put back together and test her out here. So I got her in. I got her plugged in way down in there where it goes. Got the intercooler uh, boot back on. Just got to put the uh, air intake back on. And that should be it. So codes are cleared. Let's give her a try. Alrighty. So that's uh, how to fix your... Injector harness. I'm gonna go take this thing for a drive and see what happens, but I think that fixed the issue Thanks for watching